Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. I want to talk to you today about something that I'd say the vast majority of you are going to agree with. Other than the trolls and the people that just like to disagree and argue. And that is about the collapse that has already taken place in America and that is expanding and worsening and deepening. See myself and many others, YouTubers, news people, commentators, different people, we, we talk about the coming collapse of the economy or the coming collapse of the United States as a government or the coming collapse of, of our prominence in the world and all these other, the collapse of the dollar and everything. Well, there's a collapse that's already happened, possibly started decades ago. We're full on into it and it's worsening. And this collapse, in my opinion, is far more important, far greater. And it's probably the, the foundation or the start of all these others that we're seeing. And that's a collapse of, I guess you could say our morality a collapse of our, our beliefs, our faith, a collapse in America of doing what is right over what's wrong, or at least attempting to. Now, I'm not going to get on here and paint this picture that America has always been this great godly nation. Certainly that's not true. But at least we've tried, for the most part, at least the people, maybe not always the government and leadership and that kind of stuff. But the people in America have always tried to have a pretty good level of morality and even attempted at being righteous. And that has all gone away. And folks, I'm here to tell you that, in my opinion, this is the greatest problem that we face. It really, it, it, it breaks my heart to see what's happening. Not so much that it's the fall of a great nation that we, we live in and we love and all that from a patriotic perspective. It hurts my heart because we're seeing human beings fall to the, just the most wicked levels that possibly we've ever seen in, in human history. I mean, certainly we don't know for sure, but we've definitely, definitely have to be in that top 10, maybe top five right now compared to the rest of history. And it's flat out disgusting, the stuff that is being done, not just that it's being done, because there's always degenerates in all of human history. There's always those that try to push some wicked agenda. I'm talking about the fact that we are normalizing this behavior, normalizing it, pr promoting it, teaching it to the children, pushing it on them to the point that we're actually physically mutilating and harming them. It's absolutely disgusting. And from a preparedness point of view, we may be preparing for nuclear war and some of you may say oh that's never going to happen and some believe that it is we may be preparing for world war three some may believe that'll happen some may say no not really collapse of the economy collapse of the dollar all that kind of stuff but if you're not preparing and getting your your life spiritually and physically prepared for this collapse that we are in this moral degradation of our society, this turning away from God, then you're not very prepared. And I'm not saying that from some conceited, uh, you know, position. I'm just telling you, because I, I assure you, I am in no way perfect, okay? I have many faults and I fail every day. Every day I wake up a sinful man and every day I have to fight the flesh. I mean, that's exactly what we all do. In fact, some of the most righteous men throughout the Bible talked about how they had to do that. I mean, look at David. He was a man after God's own heart, it said. And yet he did a lot of bad things. Some things that 
even some of you and myself haven't even done. Just bad things. But thankfully, thankfully the Father looks at the heart. And that's, that's something that we should focus on. Paul, Paul was another one who talked about dying to the flesh every day. So, you know, we ourselves are not perfect. We make mistakes. That's not the point. The point is, is what we do when we make those mistakes. Had a mentor to me years ago tell me that a mistake isn't when you make a mistake. A mistake is when you don't improve yourself and learn from that mistake you made. He said, that's the mistake. So when you do something wrong, that's not the mistake. It's the fact that you didn't pick yourself up and do better. And we live in a world today that they're not even attempting to do better. Like I said earlier, that's at least what we've been trying to do for the last century or two, you know, from the start of this nation. And certainly have gotten it wrong many times. But there seemed to be at least this attempt by the people to try to do good and do what's right. In today's world, it's a mockery. They, they, they mock doing what's right. They embrace selfishness, the flesh, wickedness. And I'm telling you, that is the, the most important collapse that we must prepare for. Even if we lived in a perfect, or let's just say normal, let's not use the word perfect. If we lived in a fairly normal world where the economy was strong and good, where global relations were normal, decent, okay, the supply chain was doing good, if all these things were, were pretty normal, and yet we still were dealing with the moral degradation that we're dealing with now. The garbage that is pushed upon children. All of that, if that's all we were dealing with, I would still get on here every day and tell you that our society, our civilization is collapsing. Because that in itself is by far enough. <clears throat> in fact, so much so that I think that it is the, the very root problem of what we're dealing with. And all the other stuff is just kind of a symptom. It's just kind of a result of the fact that we have lost our way. Of course, this is all foretold in the Bible. So it's not something that should shock most of you. Most of you are Bible believers in one way or the other. And whatever way you are, that's between you and God. Okay? It's getting pretty rotten out there. I mean, it's it's been pretty rotten out there. I, I said, I think a week or two ago, and I've said it probably before on here, that that one reason right there of how bad the world is getting is, is most definitely a reason to live this lifestyle. Keep your children out of the schools, to get it, keep them away from all this spoke with a man that lives close to me and they lived out in the country they had a little farm where they were living but it was in a, a, a more liberal state uh, near a liberal city and he said I just I started seeing how it was you know what was happening around me and he said I've got you know children and grandchildren adult children and grandchildren and he said I just I couldn't bear the thought of <clears throat> my grandkids growing up around all this because it was, even though they were out in the country, he said it was coming too close to us. He said, so myself convinced my kids and they all packed up, they sold their properties and they moved here close to, to where I live out here in the boonies and bought properties and just relocated themselves. And it wasn't so much, I mean, Definitely, it's part of it, you know, economic collapses and supply chains and all that kind of stuff. But the main reason why they did it was to get away from the wickedness. 
And if there's nothing else going on but that, it is most certainly a reason to get your houses in order. It's absolutely disgusting, the things that are glorified in this world. I can remember a decade or more ago, long before I was on YouTube, I used to have an internet radio show. And I was talking about this, this kind of stuff then. And looking back at how things have gotten so much worse in the last 10, 12 years, absolutely blows the mind. Knew it would be bad. Never thought that I'd see this kind of stuff. And not just that we would see it, but that the people around it would be laughing or thinking it's cute or encouraging it. Or in the very least, not taking these people out in the public square and doing a modern day lynching. And I'm not advocating violence in any way, but that's certainly what people did back in the old days. I mean, Think of what would be happening today if we went by biblical standards and laws on dealing with the evilness in this world. Folks, I think this is more serious than we, than we want to admit. I mean, we know it's serious. Some of you more than others kind of keep on top of this stuff. You see these absolutely disgusting videos. You hear this report in the news and what people are doing with their children, and what they're allowing, what doctors are doing, what hospitals are doing. People that claim that they're advocates for children, the kind of garbage that they're doing. You see that and it disgusts you. And you wonder, what's it going to take to stop all this? I never proclaim to be someone that knows the mind of God. But just going throughout history, whenever civilizations have become this immoral, this repugnant, this disgusting, they usually end up collapsing. Maybe that is their punishment. Because when they collapse, a lot of bad things happen to people. I think and I, I prepare and I focus on a, a lot of other things throughout my day with regards to this channel and our little preparedness community, our tribe, trying to plan training events, stuff that you don't hear about. There's a lot of things that we do that I never talk about here on YouTube because it's private, you know, it's for the local people. I'm trying to help coordinate, coordinate efforts to help other people do things. We're very, very, very active. But this one issue is in the back of my mind most of the time. And we have to prepare ourselves. And when I say prepare, I don't just mean prepare for the physical collapse that we're going through. I mean, you need to prepare spiritually. And I mean prepare hard. If you decided you were going to go run in a marathon or triathlon, regardless of the physical shape you're in right now, how hard would you prepare for that? How hard would you train? If you were really serious, it's really something that you desired, you'd train pretty hard, wouldn't you? Well, that's what I'm talking about, training spiritually. Getting on your knees in prayer. Reading, like I tell my children all the time, get to know Jesus, Yeshua. Not just in a spiritual sense. I mean, certainly in that sense. You get to know the, the life that he lived, the way that he lived that life. One of the things that he did 
is show us a way that we can live. Show us a better way than anyone else has. Read the scriptures and hide them in your heart and do everything that you can to focus on that and to focus on the Father and to strive for righteousness. <clears throat> because there's very little left of it in this world today. And if we don't hit rock bottom soon, it scares me to think what we'll see in another 10 or 12 years, considering what we've seen so far in the last decade. Those of you that have children, what kind of world are they gonna grow up in? It's quite terrifying. And if you spend all of your money and your efforts right now, just preparing spiritually, then you've probably done more than most and done a lot because I'm, it's, when I talk about these kind of subjects, I get a little, I get a little lost for words, not because I can't think of things to say, because I can't think of proper things to say. And the flesh and the, the anger and the emotions kind of overwhelm me at times. And I want to say some pretty nasty things and I know that's just not the right way. We need good men real men in this world. We need good, strong women in this world. We need strong families in this world. We need strong believers in this world. Because all of that is being destroyed at a very, very rapid pace. I don't even have to go back 10 or 12 years. I can remember just two or three years ago that when this stuff that we see in the news every day now, or online every day, was coming out, we'd hear about it, most people would laugh, others would, you know, say something negative about it now. Now when it happens, I'd say the majority of people accept it, say that it's okay, they won't speak out about it, and this level of degradation has been happening for a long time in our society, so that's not new. What has been happening that's new is that it's just, they're so boldly out there to the point that even the U.S. government is supporting it. I guess we're funding uh, drag queen story hours in Africa or something like that now. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely disgusting. You know, it's not just that we're not a lot, not enough that we're just wicked here in our own nation. Now we're spreading it around the world. Folks, I don't know if you got anything out of this or not. Probably more than a rant than anything. But I'm pleading with you. Get your houses in order. Even if you don't think that everything else I talk about on here is going to eventually happen. A lot of those are what ifs. This isn't a what if. It's not what if. America becomes wicked and demoralized. It's already happened. So if that's the only thing that you can put your finger on, get your houses in order. Prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually. You, your children, and your posterity will need that. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.